fancy intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we have another event that is similar to what we've been doing for over a year now. The Scramble Communications. The first time we got this style of event, we got another one that I'll admit feels a little empty. I don't, gosh, I feel like I'm complaining every daggum video. Do is it like, am I complaining in every video that we make? It feels like it. But anyway, it's a two day event. There's three parts. Yeah, that, that's it. And they're not even hard. They're just three of them. That's it. Okay, let's talk about them. So they're called Quark's Cargo, and uh, you're going to get a special item here. Stay tuned for what that special item is for. And we're going to go through here. Commander, something very valuable. That's Quark's stuff, apparently. Has been stolen from me, and you're going to get it back. I assure you this will be a profitable endeavor for us both. Now, we're going after these Gravimetrics scanners which we've been using in our daba wheel so got a tip that looters belonging to the faction who we unofficially made first contact with in the 20th century shout out to uh like star trek enterprise and everything and also d space nine they're a bit self-righteous but we're spawned if you blow up a few ships see what you can find out so it's a hostile hunt and it wants you to go after the federation this is the first one those that don't remember if you go and look at uh, d space nine i can't remember if it's like season four or season five quark and you know the, the ferengi gang go back in time on earth maybe there's weird shuttle accident because of course star trek logic you know transporter patterns shuttles everything takes you back into the past except actual time machines so that is what they're referring to and i, I do appreciate the lore being thrown into star trek here which is good i mean i'm glad that they're you know putting a little bit of thought into actual star trek as in what are the episodes what what does that matter? And also, I'm too big. We're going to we're gonna make me smaller by about 10% scopely math. Hey, look at that. Oh, well, fix that little bit. It's Look at that. I ruined it on stream. Okay. So, uh, I appreciate the idea of the lore and everything, but still, only three parts here, because now we're going to move into part two, and I don't know why it decides to be in the wrong order, but if you read, so they only had one of these figures, most unfortunate, you might have some luck with those warmongering morons who still managed to get warp capabilities before us. I'm sure you know how to get their attention. Once again, referencing uh, the history of the Star Trek universe, the Klingons got warp drive before most races. Uh, one of the first races to have it, them and the Vulcans. So now we got to go after that and getting the rewards of Marauder Mo, which is a great reference to D Space Nine. This was Quark's favorite action figure growing up as a kid. And Moogie was very wise to say they would have been worth more later in life had they stayed in their original packaging. Anybody else have a parent that used to say stuff like that? I did. I had a parent that used to say stuff like that. So now you have to go take out the Klingon. So very simple. Faction hunt. Basically, that's what we're going through here, but not really having to go through that much because in terms of point scoring, you know, if you go destroy one Federation trader in a capital system like Seoul, you know, Kronos, Romulus, you basically finished the event. You may see, I think I needed one, I think I needed one capital trader and then like one kill up like a level 41 or a level 42. So it wasn't that much in terms of the point scaling. And it's pretty easy for most people to go ahead and complete this. And we were going through, I honestly wasn't even sure I should make this video because it seems so easy. But we did have a few people who were asking about it in the Discord. So if you've not joined the Discord and you want to get help to some of the stuff, just hop on in and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have and then moving on to cargo three and if you haven't caught the theme here well i'll go ahead and tell you the answer then led on have a lead on another lost cargo it seems the looters had a particular distaste for the bream not that they have fuzzy feelings for any race for that matter see what you can find and i'll get back to you and have more intel once again going after marauder mo and our graviton scanners or gravimetric scanners romulans Romulans have a strong distaste for the Breen. We learned that, especially in Deep Space Nine during the Dominion War. So that is something else that we get to learn. And I do appreciate that there's some DS9 tidbits thrown into the Quark Cargo series. Same time, it's a two-day event. It's boring, it's easy, and it doesn't really provide much in terms of rewards because you're limited to the gravimetric scanners and this. Since we really only got a few pulls out of this today, and then we've also got the event going on to get more shards for the officers. So in general, I don't feel like we got a ton out of today. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like the theme of this arc is 
kind of phoned in. Like some of the stuff is good, but we've had these type of events we've had before, these questionnaire events, and they would have eight parts to them, 10 parts to them. A three-parter taking two days, 48 hours, just seems very lackluster. And I don't know, it's actually, there's potential for more there. Also, it also kind of bugs me that we get the same cork four panels in a row. Just everything is getting on my nerves in the month of February that I feel like there could just be so much more. And as somebody was saying in our Discord, hey, maybe they're just purposely doing the first month of the arc bad, so all the other months are amazing. And maybe there's something to that. I don't know. What I can tell you, though, is, as we look at this arc and as we look at this event structure, I can give you the basic answers right here. Federation. This was this is actually out of order. So this would be the Romulans and then the Klingons right there. And there you have it. There's your questionnaire for the next two days. We will be doing a video on Eric and Fest because I do have those officers now. I have Eric and Fest. Don't have Quark yet, but uh, hopefully I can get that by the end of the arc. And that way we can give you some pointers to how you can use these because I had a couple people coming to me with the math going are you sure these work and the truth is and we'll talk about this you're going to find some of the best usage of the new officers on ships that aren't the fee ship yeah it's, the mining upgrade is going to be best for non-specialty mining and what i mean by that is mining regular stuff like three star four star five star or gas and crystal that's where you're going to find most of the bonus not mining the specialties except for, of course, Eric's captains. But we'll talk about that when we actually have the video for Eric. So that will be probably tomorrow on Friday. And then we'll hopefully get cork by next week. I am, let me take a look at the shards that I'm at for Eric. I'll show you here on the video. We are currently at 67 out of 110. So working towards getting him. And uh, he's he's a short little guy. Yeah, hopefully we'll get that very soon. Also, want to go ahead and give you a reminder. If you're watching this video, syndicate check. If you have not pulled your syndicate chest, go ahead and pull it. I think this could be something that we add as a regular addition to our videos every day. Reminding you to go pull your syndicate. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't pulled it as well, go in here and pull your exocoms because you need to be working on your axionic chips. And make sure that you're doing your away teams. Oh, there's so many things to go through and so many different places to go and find it but yes make sure you're doing all those things hope this gave you the quick answers you need this video is not a long one it's actually pretty short compared to what we normally do here on the channel but i guess that's okay like the video if you haven't already looks like the thumb subscribe be notified every time we do live stuff and video stuff y'all are amazing live long and prosper deuces that's me we'll catch the next one i'm Audi, and i'm rev an even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house